Alright. So this time you guys get to hear me talk. Because I'm kind of curious how the sound is when I'm hopping and popping it. And as you can tell, I'm definitely new at riding on the dirt. Twelve uh, plus years on uh, street bikes definitely don't prepare you for the ass kicking that is dirt biking. But I gotta say, it's fun. Even the old crap moments. Or, uh, when your foot's a little too far forward and you put it in neutral. I procrastinated getting a dirt bike forever. And, uh, when I finally got one, I understood what, uh, immediately what people said that it's a workout. I've never took so much ibuprofen in my life. But also, shows that uh, I'm terribly out of shape. And uh, this is definitely uh, spurred on uh, the idea of going to the gym and what was I saying? Oh yeah, going to the gym. The rowing machine's probably the closest thing you'll get to all the body movements. That's on a kind of mimics the motion of uh, these machines. Ah. And I gotta say, uh, I gotta thank uh, a lot of people for convincing me so to speak, on uh, getting one of these. Tyler, Everide, uh, Dirty Mountain Goats, you guys are hilarious if you've never seen them. And, uh, yeah. I apologize in advance for all my puffing and popping. I Still trying to get used to uh, movements on here and which way to move your body, where to position yourself. Where to look ahead, when to look ahead. Getting used to the new jetting on this, the stock that came on here was uh, stock main. See if I put this up real quick. Yep, oh. Did the same thing the other day. Uh, stock jetting on here is a 135. 
put a 160 on it and uh, graciously got the Gen 3 pipe. So this bike is almost uh, it's completely different from uh, how it arrives stock. And that's not a bad thing. I would say, if anything, it's a little bit more uh, responsive, or quite a bit more responsive, really. It's, uh... Definitely a lot more uh, playful too. Oh my god, it's playful. And uh, my good friend Byron, uh, and I'll link everyone's uh, YouTube channel to really kind of inspire me to come out here and have shenanigans. Um, really uh, convinced me on just a little minor upgrade and but yeah and I'm definitely not used to talking on camera either so it's a whole new world Except I'm definitely no Aladdin. Ah, so you might be wondering, what am I riding? Uh, this will be a 2019 GCX model TSE 250R. And uh, the bike was imported from China and USA Motor Toys. Uh, Pitsker Pro uh, will be under the brand. I want to say I got it for 45, 4800, something like that, out the door, tax title included. And uh, it was exactly what I wanted for uh, an entry two stroke uh, motorcycle. And the fun thing with this bike is that it's so easy to ride. The power band is ridiculous. Uh, it's just fun. Uh, it is very forgiving. The uh, tires that come on this is uh, uh, CST. Uh, 21 up front, 19, or 18, or 18. Tighten up the core. And uh, this bike lugs. It loves to lug. Like seriously. This thing might as well be a damn freight train.
I'm basically the only person that's been out here today. It is uh, midweek though, so I should not be that surprised by any means. out here Monday play around as well oh, oh. Uh, it was almost a bad one and uh, hopefully with any luck the battery on this camera will last and hopefully the sounds uh, all right Using the uh, Castle V50 X, which is this uh, another clone of a clone of a clone. But as much as I would love a, a GoPro, this kind of suited my needs a little bit better. I would go that way, but uh, it's waterlogged heavily. Second left. Throw it up. We'll have nuts with the girly. But uh, I'll shut up. I ain't afraid to let you uh, laugh at this last uh, few minutes. I was over there. I didn't know there was a trail right there. I'll have to cut that out sometime. Stay tuned for another video. Yay!